Hi everybody, my name is Melissa and welcome to my channel. So this is the second vlog for the PSU read along. I read Rush, which I, you saw in the first vlog. I have not finished Anchor, which is the second book and it needs to be technically finished today to start the new book tomorrow, but I don't think that's gonna happen if I'm being quite realistic. Um, but I do plan on finishing the second and the third by the end of the week. So that is definitely what I need to do. Um, I did start it, so don't don't make me feel too bad about that. Um, I am still in the middle of the Library of the Unwritten. This book is just taking me so long and I'm just so sad about that because I've heard really great things and so many people love it and I don't know why it's taking me so long. I think it's just the ease of picking up my Kindle and just holding it with one hand, being able to like read in the dark, all that kind of stuff. So that's kind of what I have going on with this. I am still only on page like 150. So about one third of the way through this book and I really want to get through that. Um, I just finished filming two videos. So I'm going to go ahead and get those edited, start getting the upload process and all of that good stuff. I am going to be vlogging, like I said, the rest of the week because this is a reading vlog. Um, but yeah. I don't want to, you know, talk too much in this intro, so I will get back to you when I've read something. Bye. Good morning, everyone. I woke up pretty early this morning to finish Anchor by Candy Steiner. So this was also for the PSU read along, as well as the first challenge fulfilling a book that has the color of my birthstone. So this was one of the two books that I chose for that. And I was supposed to technically read this last week for the PSU read along, but I just finished it this morning. Oh my goodness, this was a wild ride. So I'm not gonna give any spoilers of any of the books I read. The second book definitely deals with a lot more heavier topics, a bunch of different trigger warnings. Just be aware if you are planning on picking those books up, but they are a lot heavier. I do have to say my favorite character is definitely Bear. He's the main character on the cover and he just like is the most fleshed out of the characters in the series so far. You learn more about his family and things like that. So um, yeah. Anyways, so moving on, I actually have today off, so I'm planning on getting as much reading done today as possible. It's around 11 o'clock, and it took me a lot longer than I thought to read that first book, but I do plan on reading my next book. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to pick up, but I will see. So I put out all of my uh, physical books for the reading rush that I put on my TBR, and I needed to choose one where it's like you have to pick the first one you choose, so I don't know which one I want or like first one you touch or whatever that challenge is. So closing my eyes, mm, this one. <gasps> okay, so I'm really excited about reading this one. It's actually um, one that I've heard a lot about. Um, it's a fantasy romance, kind of like a marriage, like forced marriage type thing. So yeah, pretty excited. So I'm gonna try this one out um, and let you know what I think. Okay, so it is now time to update my reading. I am over 100 pages into Radiance by Grace Draven. So this is the fantasy romance book that I chose. I am loving this book. I really have high, high hopes to finish this today. Um, since I'm about halfway through or so, I believe I can do that. But this is definitely what a type of romance that I'm not used to reading. The two main characters are very upfront in the fact that they do not find each other attractive. You know, they're two completely different races. The only reason why they are getting married is for political gain and so on and so forth. So the main girl character, the cousin of the princesses and things like that, so she wasn't going to marry anyone important where she lived and then he is the youngest um, prince. So basically just doing it so that way they can um, avoid war with you know a different country. I am loving this. The banter between the two characters, the fact that they're so open and the fact that they insult each other in the way they look but completely are um, just so wonderful uh, like to each other and they respect each other and 
like they see the good in each other despite you know their outward appearance it's just i don't know i just really am enjoying that about this book i'm hoping to finish this book today fingers crossed that i can do it because i always say that and then it never happens but we'll see and i will update you later so it is definitely a little bit later in the week and i knew this is why i wasn't going to daily vlog because when i do have full days of work like picking up my camera and vlogging is like the last thing that i'm thinking about um so I did end up on Monday finishing two books. So I mentioned I finished the second book of the PSU read along um, and I kind of summed that up. And I mentioned that I had started Radiance but I had actually finished it that day or that night rather. And when I finished it was kind of late and I didn't feel like um, picking up my camera and vlogging. But oh my gosh, this was a five star read. So, so, so good. Um, fantasy novel. What I loved was like the slow burn banter, the like, this friendship that forms between these two main characters is absolutely wonderful because it's built kind of like on this trust because honestly like they are telling each other the truth about how they feel about each other like they are disgusted um, by each other's physical appearance but ultimately that leads them to get to know each other on more of like a personal basis and find respect for each other and that was honestly one of the best things to see and I feel like I haven't seen enough of that in romance lately or like what I've been reading really so I love that this wasn't like just a physical attraction at first it kind of became that eventually after you know everything that happened so this was more than just a romance there was like some politics involved you see how um this human goes into this you know not other world because it's on like the same world but this other culture and a different species and how she is looked at as like monstrous you know when obviously the as a human she thinks these other people are and how just misguided can take from you know first impressions just based on looks so I really enjoyed this book and I really want to pick up the second one and find out what's going to happen next in this series. So I did end up not reading on Tuesday, but Wednesday, yesterday, I ended up picking up and finishing, um, after I got home from work, Heartstopper by Alice Oseman. So I didn't also realize that this book is set in England. Um, it is based on these two male high school characters. You have Nick and Charlie. Nick is a rugby player and he sees Charlie who is like running um, during PE or something and he's really fast they need another rugby player so he asked him to join the team it is so cute so Charlie is out because he told a couple people um, that he was gay and it kind of like spread they go to an all-boys school so obviously there are some people who are very judgmental of that and then you have Nick who's kind of struggling with his feelings and trying to understand who he is and what kind of he's thinking and and the way he feels and coming to terms with that I don't normally read graphic novels in all honesty this is my very first one and I loved it it was so heartwarming and absolutely the perfect time to pick it up because with everything going on it's just outside uh, in the world it's very stressful this was very calming just wonderful read um, I just loved Charlie he was so soft-hearted and Nick is just so sweet as well and it was just wonderful and you see them as friends and all of that good stuff so the second and third volumes are out I put them on my Amazon wish list and I'm hoping that I will be able to pick them up here fairly soon because this does end on a cliffhanger and I just want to know what's going to happen because I mean obviously I know what's gonna happen but I just want to see it for myself so love this one definitely five out of five stars again a new favorite as well so I was worried this was gonna happen that this was going to turn into like a long kind of um, clip so I apologize a few things to kind of talk about um, I ended up picking up this morning um, I the books over there but I have the cover here um, the silence of bones by June her so this one one is like the murder mystery um, set in the 1800s in Korea so I'm about two chapters in I'm enjoying it I really do like this um, perspective the main character she's a slave and she's basically like an indentured servant to um, the police and she's a woman so only women can touch other women in the society and so she's the one that will arrest women or even handle the dead bodies of women as well since men cannot touch them so she's kind of like dealing with that in the first two chapters. So that is really interesting. But 
in the middle of reading that, I got an email and the copy of Nightfall, the like ARC copy basically, got sent to my Kindle. So I'm debating whether I should set all of this down and pick that up, but then that's gonna derail my reading rush reading, but honestly, I just might do it. But I don't know. I do have some things I need to take care of um, with my bookshelves, so I might listen to an audiobook. I don't know. Lots of things can happen today. The day is still young. It's like 11.30ish, and yeah. That's kind of like what we have going on and I do plan on vlogging a lot more today um, instead of it just, just being one big clip. So enough of that. I will talk to you later once I've done some reading. So it's now like four o'clock and I just finished up with organizing my bookshelves. I literally did not expect it to take this long. It was a bigger process than I had anticipated. And basically by the end of it, I just started just shoving books wherever they fit. And that's kind of how that ended. I ended up, I was listening to The Silence of Bones. I got the audiobook for it. I got to chapter seven, which is almost about 90 pages through. So, so far I am liking this. I'm still trying to get an understanding of where this book is actually kind of going um, because our main character she is basically like the slave and what she longs for most is to find her brother who she believes is dead because he was supposed to write back to her and he never did so she went to look for him and somehow ended up getting a harsher sentence because she had tried to run away to find her brother so that's kind of what this book is about still trying to figure out where this book's going but other than that it's pretty good um, the audiobook is decent so yeah that's pretty much all I have to say about that Hi everybody so I just went downstairs and I had a sneaky little package and the reason why is tomorrow is actually me and my husband's one year anniversary so this time last year we were in Hawaii and we got married so which was really exciting but anyways that doesn't have to do with this um the reason why I have a brand new camera my husband was so 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 kind and went and purchased me the Canon G7X and I am so excited. I literally ran downstairs, got the package, un um, unboxed it, and then now I'm filming. So I'm testing it out, seeing how all this works, um, and I'm really so, so excited to see um, just how the image quality and everything will differ from my other Canon camera, which is a DSLR and it should be really nice, but for some reason I just am crap at you know technology in general um so i'm figuring out that i think maybe this would be the best thing to have so i'm so excited it's so much lighter easier to carry and so on and so forth i even have this like handy dandy um what's it called little handheld tripod <laughs> so i am doing that as well as trying to go through on my uh computer like right down there um and trying to like free up space because I've literally I have a terabyte on my computer and it's already full so I've already done this like three times now and now I'm have to go through and redo it so just fun times for myself <laughs> at this moment so that's what I'm doing and I will talk to you later bye hello so it's a little bit later and I ended up going to pick up some groceries um I ended up getting some lovely chocolate this is honestly okay my absolute favorite chocolate ever 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 is the Milka one with like the milk and the white chocolate. So good. Um, but yeah, I'm just kind of like going through the manual right now um, and trying to figure out why like the last clip that I filmed, like there was like, you could hear the um, autofocus like clicking. So I'm hoping that I can figure out a way to fix that. I haven't read any more. I've, like I said, have just been going through on my computer and trying to um, really just free up some space on there. So that's kind of like what's been going on with me tonight. Nothing too crazy. Um, just trying to get a handle on this 
new camera. So hopefully I figure this out. Good morning, everybody. It's Saturday. It's the weekend. Get really excited. So we have two more days of the reading rush. And I ended up getting a little bit of reading done on Friday. When I got home, I got to chapter eight. Um, so really, like, like I said, like maybe one and a half chapters through uh, of my reading yesterday. Um, just because I had so much going on. I had work. It was me and my husband's uh, first year anniversary, like I said. Um, and so we celebrated and did all that kind of stuff. Um, yesterday. So today, uh, weekend reading plans, I want to go ahead and finish this book right here, um, or rather, <laughs> this book right here. And then I really want to get one more book read. And for sure, I want to finish, I believe it's called, it's, I believe it's Pledge, the, um, the third book in the PSU read along that I'm supposed to read by Monday, have that finish. And then yeah, that's kind of like what my goals are. I'm going to go ahead and get to it. I have my coffee on the side of my bed over here. And we're just going to kind of like see where the day takes us. Nothing too exciting happening. Um, there's like this hurricane slash tropical storm that's supposed to be hitting um, south of us. So like we've been getting kind of like some rain off and on this morning and it's been like really cozy. I've been watching Vlogmas videos because honestly I'm ready for Christmas. I ended up downloading a uh, Christmas song to put in my background of like Christmas vlogs and videos. Like I'm ready, I'm prepared, this is happening. That's what I'm doing and I'll talk to you later. Bye. Okay, so it is now Monday and a little bit of reading got done over the weekend, not too much. I got about another chapter and a half into The Silence of Bones by June Hur. I'm still enjoying it, it's just going kind of slowly. I think just audiobooks in general are something that I go through quite slowly. I did try to pick it up physically, but since I had started it via audiobook, not too much reading got done. Um, I did end up picking up on my Kindle Pledge by Candy Steiner. So this is the third book for the third week of the PSU read along and it is going good. Still lots of drama, still a bunch of hard hitting topics. And I'm really loving that, you know, as the stories have been progressing, they've gotten more realistic and still drama filled. You still have that angst. You still have all the amazing steamy scenes, but still hit some tougher topic and just more lifelike, I suppose, than just your average, you know, new adult type romance. That being said, I will be starting a new reading vlog for week four, I think it's now. Oh my goodness, how did we get here? Um, so week four of the PSU read along, so I will be starting that here momentarily. And if you have any thoughts or opinions about these books or have read any, I'd love to chat about it, talk about it in the comments down below. And I hope you have a great day and happy reading. Bye.